Like oil upon your feet, like wine for you to drink, like water from my heart, I pour my love on you. If praise is like perfume, I lavish mine on you till every drop is gone. broken open the alabaster box today and God is well pleased with your sacrifice with your love with your patience with your joy and he's wanting to restore some things today it starts with returning to your first love and many of you don't experience the freedom of worship like this where you come from but God wants to encounter you like this every day. Mm. You know, in 2020, I lost something. I was having the time of my life, the time of my life, and suddenly the pandemic came and shut the world down. So many people lost so much. And then 2021, I thought things might return to normal people were starting to fly to other nations again I said I'm going back and then people around me began to pass away and bones began to break and my mother almost died and it was one thing after another in 2022 I said surely this is my year and some of you have faced the same things the enemy stole a dream from you who am I talking to wave at me the enemy stole something from you that you thought you could never get back. But God sent me to tell you today. He sent me to remind you that he is the God of restoration. And when he restores a thing, it'll be better than it was the first time around. When I leave here today, I'm getting on a plane and I'm flying across the pond. <laughs> and I'm going to take back what the devil stole. Because he can't steal your destiny. All is not lost. So if you've had a dream stolen from you and you've been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting, Listen, you might have to wait a long time because while you're waiting, God does something in you. God makes you more compassionate toward other people. God teaches you things that you couldn't learn any other way. So if that's you, run up to this altar quickly because I just want to release a declaration over you. And we're not going to labor long here because I've got a fire message to share. Jesus told us, it's the whole church, dear Lord. I guess I had the word of the Lord, Betty. I don't know. Been on, been on a streak this weekend. Scoot a little more. Come on, ladies. Some of you just need to move here. you're in a dead dumb church and the Holy Ghost is not moving dead dumb the, the church in Sardis was dead they had a building they had praise and worship but it was dead scripture says it was dead and it lost his voice so if you're in a dead dumb church South Florida economy is booming some of you just need to move down here but leave your Jezebel spirits at home please <laughs> Many of you have, who come to AHOP haven't seen me in conference mode, and many of you who have come to conference mode haven't seen me in church mode, and it's different. I think I'm nicer in church mode. 
But I want to believe with you today because God is a God of restoration. Ray, you were in my heart this morning, son, and I was just about to come chase after you. You've been away so long, your hair grown out. <laughs> I haven't seen you in a month. <laughs> Mine did too, didn't it? <laughs> How many believe God can restore that dream? It might not happen overnight. But if you don't give up on it, it'll happen. It'll happen at at least the time you least expect it. I was mine on my own. I was just saying, okay, I'm just going to chill in South Florida. And here comes Apostle Andre says, Mama, you got to come back. Mum. Shonda says, Mama, but in England they say, Mum. He said, Mum, you must come back. So I'm going back. In the name of Jesus. Father, you see all these precious souls. They've been wounded. They've been disappointed. But now I say by the Spirit of God, you shall be reappointed, refilled, refired, rewired. And I ask you, Lord, to give these ones the grace to stand and wait for your reconciliation, for your restoration, for you to do what only you can do because we can't make it happen, God, and we are tired of trying, but we will not give up and we will not back down. We will stand and wait on the one true living God to lead us and guide us back to the place, a new place even, newness of life. So I bless all these ones and I stand in agreement for them, with them, that they will see dreams restored in Jesus' name. If you receive that today, shout thank you, Jesus. Amen. Praise God.